Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Nicole. So clearly, I look a little busted right now, <laughs> but that's because I'm going to be filming a get ready with me. Not really getting ready to go anywhere, but I figured why not film my makeup routine for you guys to see. So I already washed my face and I put on all the oils and the moisturizer and everything like that. So my face is prepped and ready to go for my makeup. So I'm gonna use this little headband, but it's like I'm wearing a bow tie. Hey, what's up? Cute. So basically what I start off with is my Shape Tape, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because you can't tell it, my under eyes are terrible. Um, so I kind of load it up. I'm looking into my mirror. I could do it. Oh, f Was this in the frame the whole time? What the hell is this? What is that? Me trying to figure out my setup. What was I even saying? There was something in the camera and I wanted to get it out, so. It should be fine now. But anyway, my under eye circles are terrible. And I'm, I'm breaking out right here, which is like weird because I always break out on this side, but I never break out on this side. And then I go in with my Queen Beauty Blender. Blend, blend, blend. And go up onto my eyelids and everything like that. So I skipped filming last week because to be honest I was not in the mood to film at all. I was kind of going through it last week. No, to be completely honest, my anxiety was like acting up last week so I just was not in the mood to do anything. I barely got any sleep last week. Um so I just didn't I was not in the mood to film but I figured out a new nighttime routine that works for me. Get yourself a good freaking nighttime routine because it changes everything. I'm like, I feel generated and I feel good and I'm just like in a good mood and ready to go and I feel like my life has changed because I, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going in with Bye Bye Foundation by It Cosmetics. It has SPF 50 in it. It's a full coverage moisturizer, so it doesn't feel heavy at all. I kind of just, I do like that much. And then I take it and I just dot it around. Also, listen, I'm not a freaking beauty guru. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're here and it's working, so we're just gonna keep doing it. Also, I don't even know if this matches me anymore. I am pale as f dude. But anyway, my nighttime routine, I don't know if you guys are interested, but start meditating because it kind of changes your life, at least for me. And I've only been doing it for a week. I tried it before and like, it's not that I was like, oh, this isn't for me. I like needed, I need to meditate, especially during 2020. Like, or I mean, dude, we're in 2021 now. We're going through a pandemic. During these tough times, it's just good to meditate. You gotta do it if you aren't doing it. But yeah, I basically, I started um, stretching before bed and doing a meditation on Insight Timer and it has changed my sleep routine for the better because I can actually sleep. I've also been taking some CBD oil to help me sleep because it, it just like relaxes me and like clears my mind. It lets me just like chill and calm down and everything. So um, honestly, I like it. I freaking love it. So I'm gonna keep doing it. For powder, I use this Airspun loose face powder that you can literally just get at CVS and it works beautifully. So I use this big fluffy brush. So I just take like that, tap it off. Does anyone remember those Bare Minerals commercials that was on like the infomercials and shit? I would watch those because this was before like beauty gurus. Like I would watch those in like middle school. And the Bare Minerals makeup honestly looked phenomenal. I always like watched those infomercials and I was like, there's no way that their makeup does that. But you know what? It does. I might try to buy some of their powder and stuff. Okay, so then after powder, I go in and I use Hula, Hula by Benefit, and I use that shade. I use the same brush that I used for my powder, and I use it for 
contour. And then I just do close to my hairline to kind of like give that smaller, um, what you call it? smaller forehead. I feel like I don't know how to speak in this video. I take a week off and I forget how to freaking film. It looks blanchy. <laughs> I have this problem every single time and I'm just here like blah, 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 and it like it just still looks blotchy and I'm like it, with no matter what brush I use I don't know if it's my skin like do I need to moisturize more or is it me? <laughs> I don't know dude. I don't really like it. I try to do it up higher so that it kind of like lifts my face up a little bit more. Anyway, now we're gonna go in with Tarte. This is Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Peaceful. And it looks like this. If you watched my Ipsy video, I think that was the last video that I filmed, I got this brush in my Ipsy bag and I've been using it for my blush. Why am I making that face? I don't know. So, basically, the face is done. I'm gonna, you know what? Don't make fun of my eyebrows. I know that they need to get done really, really bad. I know that they're like kind of wild right now, but it will happen at some point. I will go and get them threaded and we'll figure it out. But anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna go do <laughs> my eyebrows right now. So what I do with my eyebrows is I'm not even joking, I use eyeshadow to darken them. And it's this MAC eyeshadow. And I'm using this one, this in the middle. I'm telling you, I'm not a beauty guru. I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing, but it works, you know? So I just kinda do that to darken them a little bit. Like, see how you can kinda See the color difference? After I do the powder, aka eyeshadow, I go in with an actual eyebrow product. I know this is from Benefit, but I don't know what it is because I the name isn't on it. I feel like the name used to be on here, but it's not anymore. Maybe it kind of came off. I don't remember what this is called, but it's by Benefit. Also, dude, this chair that I'm sitting in is so annoying because it just fucking like, it's really annoying, but we're gonna have to deal with it. Okay, so basically I go in with the brow gel and then I just go up. I don't leave them like that because my eyebrows are already bushy enough that they don't need to look any bushier so I'm not gonna leave them like that. Do it upward to like actually get the gel in there otherwise it wouldn't work and then I just kind of go over it again to shape them so they're like normal. Oh my god you guys I got um I think I mentioned this in my last video but I was waiting on my contacts to arrive and I had to go to the eye doctor to get a new prescription. I can see like I can fucking see because like I could not see before with my old prescription like I could see but I can see even better and I'm like this is what I was missing yeah now I can see it kind of feels weird and I was a little dizzy when I first put them in because like I don't know if anyone else has experienced that before but like when you put contacts in that has like a new prescription or like new glasses or whatever you're kind of just like what the fuck and you feel like you're walking on water I don't know if that's the best way to explain it, but you just feel like you're floating. Like it's really weird. And the way that you see things is just like so clear. I don't know, it's, it's a strange feeling. Okay, actually, you know what I forgot to do? I went into eyebrows and completely forgot to do my highlighter. So this is the wet set. You can't really see, but it says, can you even see? No, can't see it, but it's the, oh, ooh, <gasps> there. Okay, it's the Wet Set by Kylie. This is Wet Set by Kylie Jenner, and I've been using this for a long time now. I, probably ever since it came out. It kinda just gives you like a subtle little highlight, but you can build it. So like if you want more, you can just keep building. And it looks so good. I'm still upset about my freaking contour, dude. I need to ask my friends, like, do I go out looking like this? Because when I do it in the mirror, I'm like, oh, this actually looks cute. But if I actually go out looking like that, how I look in the freaking camera, I'm gonna be upset because that's 
not cute. Before I go on to my eyes, I'm gonna just set my face. This is a uh, Luminous Setting Spray by Madison's Madison Beer, and it actually smells so good. I got this at Sephora? No. Where did I get it? I don't know, I got it at some makeup store. It wasn't Ulta. I don't remember, but it smells like coconut and it has like a little bit of a shimmer in it, which is super cute because I kind of like do a matte makeup look, but then do a little bit of shimmer with this because I don't like my face too shimmery and this adds like the perfect amount. So it just smells so good. Like I want like a perfume. It's infused with coconut water and apple extract. So it has an amazing smell to it and if you watched my ipsy video which i said 5,000 times in this video but if you watch that video you know that i'm a sucker for a product that smells really good i can't be having something that smells like ass on my face you know okay so now we're going into my eyes i don't really do too much for my eyes i just curl my eyelashes otherwise they would be sticking straight out so i have to curl them every single time ow oh my god and I always pinch the skin by accident. So I always curl and then immediately put on mascara, otherwise they would fall. I'm way too focused whenever I do mascara. It's the thing that takes the most time for me when I'm doing my makeup. So I just realized that I didn't show what mascara I'm wearing, but I mean, I'm sure you could tell what it was because it's the classic pink and green mascara by Great Lashes. So this is what the thing looks like, the little spoolie. I also go in with lots of lashes and this is the little spoolie for this one. It's like, and then after I go in with those two, I go in with the Superhero It Cosmetics mascara and this wand is massive and it looks like that. But it just like lifts my eyelashes and it makes them look phenomenal. This is why it takes the longest for me to do my eyelashes for my makeup routine because I just have so many different mascaras that I use. So this weekend is my roommate's birthday and I'm so excited because we are just going to make a really nice dinner and we're going to hang out, play games, drink. I think we're making pina coladas and I'm so pumped for that. We got her this really cute cake and I'm so excited. It has like, I don't, I don't think she's home right now, but I'm gonna whisper just in case. It has this meme on it that um, she's turning 25 and she was talking about how she wanted her cake to have a meme, a meme on it. So it has the SpongeBob meme that says, uh, was funnier, I forget what it is, was funnier than 24. Or he goes, hey SpongeBob, what's funnier than 24? And he goes, 25, and then they laugh. It's gonna look amazing, so I'm excited. Bro, I can't hold my pee any longer. I have to go to the bathroom, so I'll be right back. Okay, we are back and ready for business, and we'll go into the rest of the routine. Whenever I'm like just going out for like, I don't fucking know what do I go out for anymore I don't know but when I'm trying to just do a very subtle makeup look I guess like I just lined my la or I lined my eyes with uh I can't talk oh my god I <laughs> I lined my eyes with eyeshadow with this little brush and then I do the same tint or same color as what I used on my brows and I just do that for my eyeliner instead of doing an actual bold black eyeliner. Okay so I'm gonna line my eyes off camera really quick because I need to be like up in the mirror whenever I do it and I'll pop back in when I'm done. Okay so you can basically see the difference from what it looked like before to what it looks like now obviously. Okay I think we're done. Holy crap. Okay, so that is my makeup look everyday routine. I'm not putting makeup on my face every single day, but this is what I do when I 
feel like it, I guess. I have a lot of exciting things planned coming up for some videos that I'm going to shoot and I'm really excited to film them. You guys are eventually going to be meeting my roommates, so I'm excited for you guys to meet them. And here we go again, sounding like every other YouTuber on the internet. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'll see you next week with another new video.